I was a pilot on a B-24 and a B-17. I was in the mighty 8th Air Force, stationed in England. In the 3rd Division, the uh, 34th Bomb Group, the 7th Squadron. The American 8th Air Force has been steadily contributing to the Allies' round-the-clock air offensive, particularly with its heavily armed flying fortresses. We had airplane factories and ball bearing plants and chemical plants and uh, railroad marshalling yards. We're trying to cut, cut them back so they couldn't supply their troops with airplanes or gasoline or whatever. We'd fly up to about 18,000 feet. It'd take us about three hours to get up to 18,000 feet. Nowadays, these jets are up there in about five or ten seconds. <laughs> well, we had a bombardier and a navigator, pilot and co-pilot. <clears throat> had a top turret gunner and a ball turret gunner and a radio operator and waist gunners and a, a tail gunner. Oh, he's just a sitting duck. Those old German boys are shooting that flak up at us. bring us down. When that shell explodes, it just makes a little black cloud. It's almost black as soot. There's only one really close call, and that was over a German city named Ludwigshaven. We had just dropped our bombs, and uh, anti-aircraft guns shot out one of our, our number four engine. A couple minutes later, they got the number two engine, the one closest to the pilot, and then the propeller just windmilled free and the engine was stopped. And then we dropped down about 10,000 feet so we could get off of oxygen. And we decided to lighten up our load and so we threw all our guns out and our ammunition. And we even dropped the ball turret which weighs around a thousand pounds <laughs> and uh, kept on heading towards England. Pretty soon we crossed the English Channel and we saw the white cliffs of Dover. They sure looked good. And uh, <clears throat> When I saw those I knew we were pretty close to home. Finch received the Distinguished Flying Cross for that mission, but so many others would not make it home. You know, there's about 12, over 12,000 B-17s built, and 4,700 of them were shot down. 26,000 men of the 8th Air Force died during their service in Europe. That's more than the United States Marine Corps lost during World War II. My last mission was the 28th of December, and I got the message that my bombardier and one of my gunners were killed in action. I think I know Mama and Dad were praying for me every day that a little boy would come back safely. I think that's what did it. It wasn't anything I did. Well, I had a pretty easy time. Well, that's when I remember all those infantry boys and the, the Navy and the Marines, and those are the fellows that really had a, a rough, tough war. I mean, trying to establish a beachhead in those Pacific Islands and the, the Normandy over in the, on D-Day. Those guys really had a rough time. I mean, they were right in there with the dead people and the wounded people, and those were the real heroes in the war, I, I, I feel. And so we honor those who have honored us with their love, their sacrifice, their lives, and their service to our great nation.